Today we're in Vouvray, taking a look at the landscape, the lure, and the luscious wines of the Loire Valley. This is Vouvray, and this is 1947, the most fantastic year. The Vouvray is always a white wine with only one grape, the Chenin Blanc, but this is an exceptional grape. While the Loire Valley's great white grape is often misunderstood, the virtue of Vouvray is in its variety. The Chenin Blanc in the Loire Valley is very, very different from all the Chenin Blanc I have tasted. A good thing will be to discover all the range of the wine that we can produce in Vouvray. Uh, because with the same grape, Chenin Blanc, we produce sparkling, dry steel wines, uh, demi-sec, that is the most known. But we also produce uh, sweet wines that can be uh, Absolutely delicious. Acidity and ageability, it's ace in the hole. Why we are known is because we have white wines able to age 50 years, more sometimes 100 years, and this is very exceptional. Present in the U.S. since 1946, Chateau Moncatour is one of the oldest and well-respected wine estates in the Touraine region. But the road from bulk to bottle wasn't a bowl of cherries. When you bought the castle, all, all the production uh, at that time uh, was sold in uh, bulk and I decided to change that and now we are selling all our production in bottles by ourselves so it has been a, really a dramatic change. The dream has become a reality but uh, it's, it's, I think it has been much more work than imagined, <laughs> I must say. <laughs> But how the family came about the castle is somewhat of a fairy tale. You said that it was your father's dream to buy this castle? I think it's a bit of chance. At the age of eight, he was uh, used to go uh, on his bicycle, saying it's himself, uh, when I'm rich, I will buy it. And when he was 60, Moncouto was for sale. Uh, so he decided that it was a good idea to change his, uh, his work and to start to be a winemaker instead of a surgeon. And a little poetic justice played its part. Balzac was a very great, yes, very great lover of Moncontour. He tried to, to buy it, actually. He didn't have enough money to buy it. He tried to convince his mistress to buy it. And we have a very nice letter from Balzac uh, to his mistress. It's signed, Moncontour est ma prédilection. So predilection means what, what I love the best. And so we named uh, our best uh, sparkling cuvee uh, predilection right, in remembrance of Balzac. Oh, I love that story. So you and your father beat out Balzac and got yes. the chateau. Yes, <laughs> absolutely. Stay tuned. We're rolling on the river on our way to Chinon. Rolling, rolling, rolling. Roll. <laughs> rolling on the river. Bonjour. Oh, it's <laughs> Welcome to Chinon, a historic French town known for its castle, its kings, and of course, its wine. Producing wine for centuries, Chinon is synonymous with Cabernet Franc, but does allow for about 10% Cabernet Sauvignon. Located on the bank of the Vienne River, the medieval town is small in size, but not in significance. Playing a pivotal part in the Hundred Years' War between England and France, it was in the castle of Chinon where Joan of Arc urged French ruler Charles VII to rise up against the English. Today, Chinon and the rest of the Loire Valley continues to attract history buffs and wine lovers alike on their own crusade through this royal wine region, a majestic mission into the heart of France, where kings and queens held court once upon a time, and where feeling like royalty is as easy as uncorking a bottle of Loire Valley wine. With uh, all the wine growers and all the, uh, all the guys of this world who all know that it is uh, God who gives us wonderful wine. It's, it's for a winemaker.